What's going on YouTube? Gia Snow right here. So in today's video we're discussing about the Saigon Jailbreak which has been updated to beta 2nd. Now I'm going to show you the source code is currently still for the beta 1 apparently because it says in here it's been updated 12 days ago so it doesn't reflect the new beta on the website. But on the website in here on the Saigon website you can see there is the beta 2nd. Let's see what it contains. Now what you can see in here it says that support the device uh, iPhone SE on 10.2.1, iPhone 6, 6 Plus, 6S Plus and 6S and the iPad mini 4 but it's not tested, the iPad Air 2 finally works, it's been tested and uh, for the iOS 10.3.1 on 6S it's not yet. You can see on the beta second we have a fix for the camera that wasn't working after jailbreaking. This was one of the most common issues when jailbreaking with Saigon, the camera would simply quit and it's apparently now fixed. Then you have the support for the iPhone 6S Plus, iPad mini 4 and iPad Air 2. You have some minor bug fixes and changes and slightly better at escaping the sandbox. Now the uh, sandbox escaping is the second worst part of the Saigon currently, at least for the beta 1. Um, it's, it used to work pretty bad and uh, you know most of the times it required you to reboot your device a lot of times as the jailbreak would fail to escape the sandbox. Now it's apparently a little bit better, it's improved a bit and I am pretty sure that Abraham Masri, the developer behind it, is uh, actually focusing on getting this to work better but it takes time. Now you also have an option to reinstall Cydia by holding jailbreak button and then tapping it again which is always something useful and um, as an added bonus it displays device model and the version. That's pretty much what's going on with the beta second. So uh, is it recommended to install the Saigon jailbreak with beta second? Well it's at least better than the beta one. So uh, if you want to try it you can go ahead and try it but if you're not experienced and you're afraid of you know uh, having errors or you're afraid of having a poor battery life or your device is pretty starting and stuff like that that you are better off waiting for the final version or at least a much more stable beta. But if you do know about, you know, sending a crash log to a developer or, you know, just how to read jailbreak again if something goes wrong and stuff like that, then it's definitely recommended. It, it should be stable enough, at least on the devices where it's been tested. So definitely try it if you want, but be cautious and uh, be careful what you're installing from Cydia, not to install some incompatible tweak like, uh, you know, like it was the case with the app sync back on iOS 10.2 that caused problems. So just just pay attention to what you install and you should be good to go. If it still doesn't work for you for the first time, it's definitely normal, it's a beta jailbreak, just try again up until you get it working. Another thing that people asked me about the Saigon jailbreak was whether it's untethered or not. Unfortunately it's not untethered, uh, you will have to jailbreak again every time you restart your phone and uh, you will have to deploy it using Cydia Impactor which means that if you do not have a developer account you are going to sign it for 7 days only. After each 7 days you need to deploy it again using Cydia Impactor otherwise the application will not start when you need it. So that's that cleared up for you. Do not forget to go ahead and subscribe to my channel to stay updated and I'm going to keep you updated once new versions of Saigon Jailbreak appears and if you want to know whether it's safe or not to try it if you're a beginner in the jailbreak community go ahead and watch this video in here that I made um, a couple hours ago like 6 hours ago in which I explain all the pros and the cons about using a beta jailbreak for the moment. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, go ahead and download the beta second if you're using the beta one on your device, it should be much more stabler. So thanks for watching and till the next time, I'm Geosnow, peace out!